Welcome back. Here's some silver lining for you. A piece of hidden history has been discovered in the Natchez River thanks to this drought. A drop in the water level has led a Southeast Texas man to a shipwreck. 12 News went to the site to see what's in store now that the Texas Historical Commission is involved. Now we spoke with a man who found the ship and reported it to the Ice House Museum in Silsby. 12 News reporter Gloria Walker took a trip to see if we could connect the dots. Pieces of history found underneath the Natchez River in photos of the boat wreck went viral, causing the Texas Historical Commission to get involved, answering questions about what this discovery could be. It is history and I think it needs to be preserved. As river levels decrease, some interesting things are rising to the surface. Last Thursday, Bill Milner, who grew up on the Natchez River, found a shipwreck and immediately knew he needed a second set of eyes on the findings. I wanted to document it to make sure I could share it with somebody that had more expertise than me because I wasn't sure what I was really seeing, but I could tell it was a very large vessel. He brought in museum curator Susan Kilcrease from the Ice House Museum in Silsby, who said whatever he found needs to be preserved. It blew my mind because I felt like this was something very old. We could tell almost immediately that it was wood, it's constructed of wood, which put it at a certain uh, time period, the early 20th century at the minimum. The next steps are getting historical experts from the Texas Historical Commission to look at and inspect the wreck site. I notified the uh, Texas Historical Commission, uh, the, Mar the maritime archaeologists there. Our position of protecting this site and making sure that we didn't by accident or somehow d uh, dispel where it was located so that it could be looted because that would be absolutely horrible if that happened. While they wait on a team from the state to come out and inspect, they're hoping to continue to fight for history to be preserved. I think it would be good for the area. Uh, I'm sure there's other vessels in this old river sunk in various places, but to find them is something else. So I'm hoping we could verify uh, the dates on some of these vessels. If nothing else, uh, mark them so we'll know where they're at in the future. Now the state's investigation could answer key questions that we have about just how old the shipwreck could be and what would happen after, whether it's marked a historical landmark or put on display. In Evadale, Gloria Walker, 12 News.